Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. A Jamaican man, Connecticut, USA, has been sentenced to 18 months for production and selling of a ghost gun. Me not even in no said dopey could I buy gun. <laughs> Greetings, family and friends. Greetings. This must be historic. Me I tell you, say, you see, Jamaicans, anywhere they go, they mix up in arms house. A 30 year old Jamaican man, Ardell Reeves, was on Thursday sentenced to 18 months to federal prison in the United States where he was convicted of fabricating a ghost gun. Me never know say they make gun for dopey. This is according to the U.S. Attorney Office of the District of Connecticut. Reeves will likely be deported to Jamaica after completing his sentence. Don't send him down here. If anybody not fear me, Gone for dopey. Now send it down here. According to the court document and statements in the late 2021, the FBI in Northern Connecticut gang task force learned that John Lee Ortiz and others were selling ghost guns. These are homemade firearms that do not contain serial numbers or other identification mark, thus preventing them from being traced to owners, sellers, or manufacturers of the weapon. That no sound good at all. As part of building their case, investigators made controlled purchase of seven handguns, a Bushmaster .223 caliber rifle, and numerous of rounds of ammunition from Ortiz in December 2021. Most of the handguns has no serial numbers and had plastic lower receivers appear to be made with a 3D printer. Reeves was identified during in the investigation as the fabricator of the ghost gun, the United States Attorney officer said it shares that Reeves and Ortiz were arrested in January 5th of 2022 on the date on court authorities searched the apartment of the Church Street in East Hofford they found six fully assembled firearms approximately 25 partially assembled firearms three high-capacity magazine various firearms parts, tools used to construct firearms. So I make this a fool, you have a foreign I make gun. And Uno are going to make him say, Uno are going to make them send him back down here? No bother with it. Tell them to be Japan right oh, in the sea, right over Cuba. Right before they reach Jamaica. Matter of fact, I don't get Cuba involved. Come in and mess up Cuba bad, bad, bad. Drop him before they get to Cuba. Now between Cuba and Jamaica, because them still can't make it. You are going to Now Reeves was reportedly presented with these offers because he was caught in the apartment at the time that it was searched. Now when they searched the apartment, there was a 3D printer, of course, in the apartment. That they show that they processed and print the stocks for AR-15 style rifle. That they me not too what pre that. Them just mean like a shotgun looking rifle or a machine gun looking rifle. Cause them I give that weapon the bad name. In an audio video recording made during a controlled purchase, Ortiz Bolsti had connection to get the guns sold. While he's in Jamaica, he called Reeves Jamaican boy. And who he, he's the brains of the operation. 
So this sound funny. Sound like the Spanish youth is a FBI informant and set up this a Jamaican youth. He also acknowledged that Reeves wanted out and even relocated to Massachusetts. However, Ortiz convinced him to return to the ghost gun business. Right it. You see it? What me say? Nothing more than a FBI spy. On August 24, 2022, Reeves pled guilty to engineering in business of manufacturing firearm without license. He has been also on a US $1,000, $50,000 bond and is required to report to prison on June um, January 6. Why did I eat at this? On November 8, Ortiz pled guilty to one count of engaging in the business in dealing with firearm without license and one count of possession with intent to distribute fentanyl. He is scheduled to be sentenced February 3rd. But me guarantee Ortiz are going to get less time and him have more charges, drugs and weapon charges. Because him turned state witness. Pan Reeves, people, I am not a proponent of any criminal activity. Those who engage in criminal activity, when they get locked up, me not to get feel sorry. Because if I do engage in it and I get myself locked up, you know, I'm going to feel sorry. Then me you tell you that should in life. Young, 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 30, 30 year old Reeves. See when we are for another? Now, before we figure out how to manufacture some tools where people can farm with and build some things in a Jamaica, yeah? him go on a foreign gun figure out how he can make machine for crank man. Now, when he get locked up, he might do 18 months, a measly 18 months, and guess what? I will ship him down here to Jamaica for he make some more. Like I go up, them go up there for the train figure out murder way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari Soldier. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It's a shame that we continue for two our lives day after day, over and over and over. Here I am reporting a young 30 year old Jamaican, they are foreign. They're in a Connecticut, in the district of Connecticut. His name is Audley Reeves. Their mother sentenced him for 18 months in a federal prison in the United States of America for fabricating a ghost gun, which I didn't even know, so you could have made gun for Duppy. Yeah, Ganti. And they were going to deport him afterwards. I want them just keep him up there if they do the idiot thing them up there. Hit that red subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Leave your comment for me. Let me know if we should not accept him forward. Can you think say more make some holy for anything they done here? Because he can't eBay one, one, one 3D printer. Or Amazon, it, whatever they must say. Or Alibaba, it. Right, it. Jamaica done.